family hires Sweet Nanny, but they have to fire her after she does this. A young couple hired a live-in nanny, and while she was very sweet in the beginning, things went sideways. The worst thing? Not even the police officers could help them. The whole experience was so mind-blowing that the people were telling the couple that their story was just like the plot of a movie. So what could they do with this nanny from hell? Here's what the Milnes family went through earlier this year, just when the pandemic began. Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for daily amazing videos. Families with more than one child really need some help at home. Parents need to go to work, so the kids have to go to kindergarten or school. Sometimes grandparents are really helpful, but what happens when parents can't find a way to care for their kids and go to work? Being a parent is a 24-7 job, but with both parents working, those hours must be replaced by kindergarten or school hours by grandparents and nannies. So the Milnes family realized they needed a nanny. But a series of unfortunate events landed the family in the middle of a drama you'd only see in movies. With three kids, a demanding job, and a very busy schedule, Nadine Mills knew she needed to hire a nanny, and they found one they loved. The nanny would have helped Nadine watch the children and also do some chores such as shopping and cooking. Nadine's family included three children, a three-year-old girl, a six-year-old girl, and a ten-year-old boy, so you could say she had her hands full. The nanny they found was from England, but she had to leave to move with her boyfriend. That meant Nadine had to find another live-in nanny and fast. They were in a panic, said father Ryan Milnes to reporters in a later interview. Both had to go to work and there was no adult around to care for the kids. The nanny from the UK was ready to move. So the family immediately looked for a new nanny and they found one from Georgetown. They had a FaceTime interview and then they decided to hire her starting from February 1st. Big mistake. As a live-in nanny, there are a few perks, such as not only having your own bedroom with an ensuite bathroom, but also the keys to a car, a phone, and other items such as a TV in the room and more. The new nanny even got her own Wi-Fi, aside from all those things. And she seemed like a nice and responsible person. What do most parents look for when they want to hire a nanny? First, they must be great with kids and be trustworthy since you're leaving her alone with your kids. This new woman from Georgetown looked the part. Little did Milnes know that she was soon going to change and their lives would become a nightmare. The first week with the nanny was great. She was doing everything she was hired to do. The food was great, the house was tidy. The family thought they'd just hit the jackpot with the nanny. She was a keeper, at least for the first couple of weeks. But the cracks slowly began to appear. Then one day when Ryan was at work, his son called. The father runs a software firm, so it was obvious he couldn't just go home. That's when the boy tells him a shocking thing about the nanny. What was wrong with her? While in the first couple of weeks things were absolutely amazing with the new live-in nanny, the third week was when things began changing. The nanny seemed to be less inclined to do the work she was paid, but this was only the beginning. Here's what she started to do. On the phone, Ryan's 10-year-old son told him that there was no breakfast and she was still in her room and wouldn't come out. The kid even missed the school bus. But this was only a part of some of the most outrageous things she'd do in the next few days. And yeah, there's worse things that could happen. At one point, the nanny even bought up to $800 worth of gifts for the kids. They were gifts for the children, so she had good intention, but it just wasn't appropriate, said Ryan. It was time for the Milnes to have a conversation with the nanny since the one-month review was getting close. They had no idea she'd react like this. The family realized that their choice of nanny wasn't so great after all. If she wasn't going to do her job and she was taking advantage of them, well, then it was time to let her go. The Milnes told the nanny that her one-month review that she'd be paid an extra month's salary. What was her response? This is what shocked the whole country. After talking to the family, the nanny immediately went back to her room and locked herself inside. She refused to get out and speak with the family. The Milnes had no other choice but to call the York Regional Police. Their answer was mind-blowing. Neither Nadine nor Ryan expected to hear what the police officers had to tell them about the nanny. Ryan recalls that while the police officers were nice to him and his family, they couldn't force the nanny out. But Ryan explained that the officers didn't understand the law. They kept saying it's a Landlord-Tenant Act issue 
and we can't remove or evict anyone during COVID-19, said Mills to the reporters. So how could we solve the issue? Ryan explained that the reality is that if you're sharing a kitchen with the person, it's a trespassing issue and she should be removed. However, the officers didn't help them. Then the nanny made an outrageous request. The nanny told the family that she'd leave the house if she got $3,000 and paid expenses to stay for two months at a hotel. Finally, they cut a deal. I started to feel like I was being extorted, said Ryan, who negotiated to pay her $2,000 and a month at a resort they had access to. But then the unexpected happened. All of a sudden, the nanny backed off her deal and stopped communicating with the family. She was locked inside the bedroom and told them the deal was off. Ryan and Nadine grew frustrated and posted the outrageous story on Facebook, which immediately went viral. Here's what they said. If I could, I'd toss her out myself and embrace my crazy side for once. I'd rather cut off the hydro, cut off her cell phone, take the TV box away from her, and make her life miserable, said Nadine. And that's what most people told her to do in her Facebook post. People on Facebook were very resourceful when it came to finding a solution to the Milne's nanny problems. One person suggested they should all move out, turn off the utilities, and blast music the entire day. Then one person shared a photo of a movie description with the same story, only that the Milnes had lived through the experience. So many people wanted to help, Ryan said, adding that the sensory deprivation seemed a bit extreme. Hoping to bore the nanny out of her minds, Ryan shut off the Wi-Fi and the cell phone they gave her. But what really helped was his brother-in-law's idea. Finally, the perfect solution. Ryan's brother-in-law told him that he would come with a couple of friends and remove the bedroom door, as well as the barricade the nanny had set up. They were going to reclaim their belongings, including the bed, dresser, and TV. What did the nanny do? It may be incredible, but the nanny had the guts to call the police. She reported a break and enter, but this time the police officers were on the family side. The police officer called the nanny's aunt and then got into contact with her mother, so things were finally back to normal until the family opened the nanny's closet. Apparently, the nanny had not kept in touch with her mother in years, and she finally agreed to move in with her. With her baggage and cat packed, she was finally out of the door. It was now time to inspect and clean her room. The nanny had been prepared for a long siege. She even filled large vases with water in case the family would cut off the water. She also had a stock of kitty litter and food. But what was even more incredible was that she had a hot plate in the closet where she cooked her own food. Ryan said that the nanny was a sweet person but seemed very volatile. She said that when she left, we just wanted to celebrate. He was thankful for all the moral support too, updating everyone on Facebook and letting them know the good news. Thanks for everyone's advice, the good and the bad. We appreciate everyone reaching out and offering help, said Ryan in his update on social media. We can now live a normal life, and we don't have to worry about someone living like a prisoner inside our own home," he added, and they found a replacement for the strange nanny. The Milnes found a replacement, the new nanny's from Italy, and they adore her. All this crazy story took place over the course of nearly three months, so you can imagine just how stressed and on edge everyone was. Stories like this one would make a lot of parents have even more trust issues when it comes to hiring a nanny. After all, it's their child that could be in danger. Thankfully, while this nanny had a very strange behavior, at least the kids were sort of safe since she locked herself inside the house. And still, the Milne's three-year-old daughter and six-year-old daughter should have been supervised at all times, but the nanny didn't exit her room for days on end. Thankfully, nothing bad happened in the few hours the parents were gone before they realized that the nanny was neglecting the work she was hired to do.